just go back to Malcolm for what were your thoughts on his game against Houston? He played some good basketball. He played some good basketball. And I think and I think Malcolm needed that for Malcolm. Not not I don't think Malcolm needed that for obviously the team needed him, but I think Malcolm needed that for Malcolm. Um because Malcolm has gone through a lot. Um a lot has happened. You know, I don't know Malcolm personally. Um, you know, I see him every now and then. He's always been super awesome. Always speaks. Super nice dude. But him and him and him and Alo, I feel like they've been through a lot, man. Just like I mean, it could be off the court issues, could be depression, could be injuries, could I mean because, I mean, we, we, you know, we call a spade a spade. I think Malcolm and Alex would love their last go-round to be a lot more prominent than it was. I agree. Um, and I think they both wanted more for themselves on their last go-round. But, I mean, life happens. Mm-hmm. Injuries happen. And, you know, and I, I think that took a toll on them. Me, personally, I, I love Alex Lomax, and I let him know every time I see him. And I, you know, I'll DM them every now and then and, you know, just, you know, send them a, a, a word, a, a positive word. But, you know, and I, you know, it's no doubt in my mind that I don't think Alex Lomax would want more for his team, more for him, more for Malcolm, or just everybody, because he's literally put his body on the line for multiple games, came back from a nasty injury. I mean, people understand, if you don't have a groin, you're not coughing without hurting. You're not walking. You're not any. Your lateral movement is gone, so you can forget about that. But like to be able to come back from you know something like that and still want to put his body on the line for his guys and play, I think that says a lot. You know, as a senior guard, should his numbers look better? Yeah, probably. But I'm also not about to crucify the guy. You know, based off what's going on, um, Dandridge. Say the same about him, man. Yeah, should his could could his could his numbers look better? Maybe, but again, I'm not about to crucify the guy for because I I love him to death and they've both battled a lot and so I I think that game back to your original question I think that game was big for Malcolm. What did you see? Like what did you see as your? I mean I know it's kind of difficult to like really see unless you're watching film and tape and stuff afterwards because you're kind of caught up in the moment and not really dissecting the game, mm-hmm. you know. But just in terms of as you start to face off against, you know, some of these bigger opponents like Houston, you know, obviously Malcolm was having a great game against Alabama before he got hurt. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you think – does Does Malcolm coming back change the dynamic, change the, the opportunity that the Tigers have in terms of going deep into the NCAA tournament? Yeah, because when you – when you get into when you get in a tournament play and you know these juggernauts start playing each other it, it it comes down to who who wants it more because when you get to the NCAA tournament everybody's talented right everybody got scores everybody got somebody that can do something really special on the court but it comes down to who wants it more and if we have you know that 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 body count comes into play and the more bodies that we have to throw at somebody on the floor that are producing at a high level, the better. You know, because at first it was just, you know, Williams in there doing his thing. Then you got Chandler having to step up and play. Well, now you're asking Williams to play, get a bucket, and play D. Over a course of what? He's probably averaging, what, 35 minutes? Yeah, he ain't – unless he's got foul trouble, he's not coming out. Yeah, so like yeah. – when you got Dandridge in there to yeah. kind of relieve them, they go back and forth. You kind of got the best of both best of both worlds. You got Dandridge coming in, beating guys up on the inside, playing a little bully balls, able to you know withstand a little more contact and fight for the glass. Whereas, you know, if you need a breather, you got Williams in there who's banging still. He's a banger, loves contact, loves being in the paint, but that high post opens so much more for the offense. Totally agree. And 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 it, and, it, and it does a lot. So I think that one two. Helps. Yeah. Now I don't. They don't play much together. If that, if those numbers, if if they can find a way to play together, right, twenty plus minutes, right, right, then I think you know we we rolling. Man, I think some 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 serious things can happen. 
But, I mean, l- listen to this stat line from Malcolm. You know, one of the things that we know about Houston is they are a – are they the most offensively gifted team in the country? No, but they mm. will grind your ass to the floor. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. What they, they play hard defense and they rebound. The Tigers out-rebounded them on Sunday. And, and Malcolm was a huge reason why. See? He had seven rebounds. He played 28 minutes, which is a crazy number for Malcolm. Oh, yeah. Like, 28 minutes is a ton of minutes. And a lot of it was because DeAndre had to sit out because mm-hmm. of the fouls. But played 28 minutes, shot four of seven from the field, hit the only free throw he took, which is wild that he only took one free throw, number oh, one. Oh, yeah. He Refs were terrible. Terrible. Refs were terrible. We can get into that. That they were terrible. Oh yeah, nine points, two blocks, one steal, one assist, seven rebounds in twenty eight minutes. That's solid because Dan in the past Dandridge has has he has struggled with his conditioning and staying on the court. And twenty eight minutes and to get that kind of stat line from him, I think that's huge for 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 the for the team and for him. So I, I think that was huge. Even though we took the L, I think that was a huge confidence booster for him. And it showed it, it shed a lot of light and positivity on this team going into the conference tournament. And I think his guys were happy to see that. I think they were happy for him. 